what's going on crafty nistas so i am in my craft room with these dollar tree half binders that i picked up quite a little while ago and i've been meaning to do something with them but i was looking for some more things to go in them and they didn't come back up at dollar tree but i was motivated because my little prayer journal that i had from the series that i made a while back my daughter got a hold of it and it tore up. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to spend the five extra dollars or so on another one of this with the little pocket thing in there. I said, you know what? I have these that I picked up from the Dollar Tree that are the same size. I'm just going to use one of them. And then in the process, I was just going to go ahead and show what I did. So I'm picking up my supplies here. I have a couple of things I was gifted. Um, the rest of the things I picked up at the Dollar Tree and um, a little clearance store there. More Dollar Tree items. And the little clearance pouch from Hobby Lobby and the paper from um, Amazon. But I also found some of that paper at Walmart that was the same two dollars and something so you can also find paper at Walmart that'll fit in that size binder and I believe I also saw those binders um, at the that small size at the Target dollar um, shop I think it was three dollars or something so um, there are other options out there so I'm just carefully tearing off my label here and for this first one, I'm using the same paper that I had in the other one. Um, I just slide in my paper in the other journal there. I have a little stain down there on that one. I don't know how it got there, but it doesn't bother me. So I'm just going to cover that up. But the other one had a little clear protector pocket on it. And so you slid your paper in there. I'll link the series, um, the prayer journal series that I created, and since these are plain, it doesn't have that pocket over it, I just wanted to go ahead and do something to make these a little prettier. So the first thing I'll need to do is prep my area. I think the Mod Podge, everything adheres better if you um, put a layer on the bottom so I'm just going to go ahead and prep my area and put some Mod Podge on the bottom for it to adhere to get it all slathered on and ready to go and the Mod Podge can also be picked up at the Dollar Tree. I've noticed I have a couple of bottles myself that I picked up in my stash. They have the smaller bottles there. If you see them, go ahead and pick them up. Mod Podge is really easy to work with if you haven't worked with it before. So once I got the bottom layer on and I smoothed everything out, the only thing else to do is lather it on. The process reminds me of like buttering bread or something. It's so satisfying. I know I'm just a car carb head here, so you're going to hear that. But it was really relaxing just to do this with these binders. So just sitting in my craft room and pulling out the brush and having the TV on and just relaxing and doing this. So I'm just making sure my edges are nice and covered so the paper won't be coming up. And once I've done that, I go ahead and do the same thing on the middle and the end. Put the layer down first before I put the paper on and then once the paper's on, I go ahead and put the layer and cover it. And as you can see on the left, that isn't dry yet. It's going to be nice and smooth once it's dry. So on this other one here, I just wanted to show I used the LOL paper from Hobby Lobby. And there's some cutouts in there and I just fussy cut them out. 
and then a layer of Mod Podge on top. So on some of the other ones, I started to use my hole puncher and cut out the metal brackets that were in the middle. And I wanted to go ahead and make them all uniform. So I took um, some bling. I have some clearance bling here from Hobby Lobby that I picked up. And I just want to go ahead and show how I just added that on. I used the fabric tack since I was letting this dry, but the hot glue gun is another option. So I just wanted to show how they came out after they were dry. Like I said, the things on front are um, fussy cut little sayings and words and pictures that they have in the paper pads that I was using. And so on this one, I just colored in the little girl there. And I love that on the back where she has her hat. And this one was one I already had from an old paper pad from Michaels. And this last one was a paper pad I had, but I used the LOL cutouts. For the front and the back. Nice and simple, but yet cute. And so I wanted to show here how I done the inside of these, just in case anybody needed any ideas. So I used um, the little graphic calculators that I picked up from Tuesday, mor um, Tuesday morning, you know that's my favorite place, from the Dollar Tree. And then I used the little sticky pads there. I stuck that in the middle. Then showing the little girl in front that I colored in. And then I Mod Podge that on top. Then I used some of this, I just transferred the stuff from my other journal that I've been working in and placed that on there. I forgot to show the tabs here that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and they already had the little labels in there. And I didn't label them yet because I'm not sure that I'm actually gonna hoard all of these. I may, you know, gift a couple or one, so. I have those ready to go when I'm ready to label them. Got the little Dollar Tree label um, ruler there and the schedule planner pad from there and the stickers that I was gifted. And then this one here is a little ghetto, I know, but I don't have a big bite to go ahead and make my holes in there. So I thought that it would be a good idea to use rubber bands and I taped um, the paper, um, the pad in the back. I thought I can add if I find any more of those. So I thought that I would just keep that little idea of using the rubber bands for now. And then here is this last one I wanted to use for bills. I would probably move the calculator to the left side so you can actually write on the right side but I thought that this would be good for bills so it really doesn't matter it's not, I'm not going to be actually writing in there so but I would add my calculator to the left like I did the other one but I really love how these turned out I think they were cute and I was getting ready to sign off but I thought that the teal one there was a little empty I didn't have any of the little dividers in it so I thought about my we are memory keepers tab punch that I picked up in my last clearance from Hobby Lobby so I went on and opened that and got to thinking that I could make my own little file folders for that 
We're going to tab dividers and pulled it out of the package and did a slight example test and just measured some paper there and it would probably make it a little shorter maybe next time but I used the same size that I used on the front so but it works it went in there so what you're going to do is you're going to take the little tab that they have there and you're going to stick it on the left side and I'm sorry that I didn't zero in on this so you can actually see what I'm doing here but once you put that little tab in all you have to do is punch I'm just deciding what side of the paper that I want to use this on and then once I had that lined up and punched uh, just reviewing it to see how it looks and making sure I'm not confused here but I just need to take the little peg out and I can put it back in place and I got a little confused because I was looking at the measurements the instructions how to do the middle tab here but all I need to do is flip this over and I'm going to do it in a second flip it over okay and line it up because I'm doing the small since this is a small journal here I'm using the small there's a small medium and large and sorry that I'm not zeroing in on this um, but once I lined it up with a small tab and got that punched in all I need to do is take my little trimmer up there and then I'm lining up the edge of the punch here and securing that in the little track and then sliding it through so I can cut off the edge to make the little folder here sliding my paper down trying to get a nice straight edge and I am done and so I like how that turned out And so this is what I was getting confused about the middle one you're going to line up the size of your paper so I'm using an eight and a half so I use the eight small because I'm doing a small punch so I lined it up the eight small and then I punched then I'm going to flip it over and then there's a small medium and large on the right side and like I said I'm sorry I didn't zero in on that but as you can see I've gotten my paper that I need to cut off on each side here so on the little cutter cutter circle there there is a circle peg that you're going to put in the little slider there and you can slide back and forth and then your blade is on the other side so I'm putting that peg in and then I'm sliding my blade through there and that slid off my paper and then you can see I have that little opening there that I'm lining it up sliding that circle ped through the tray there and my blade is just gonna go smooth down the side and cut it off and then I have my middle tab there and so I have my two ready to go and then all I'm going to do now is just cut a third one so I can have three tabs and I'm doing the same thing I'm getting my paper ready I put that peg on there and punched it took the peg out line it up with the small and punched it out and all I have to do now and I flipped it over because I'm actually going to use the other side of the paper see that little opening of area there so I know where to cut at putting my circle in the tray and then sliding my blade down in the little opening sliding my paper over to continue a nice smooth cut and I've gotten my third little tab divider here
so now I'm just lining up one of the other dividers and making my holes so I know that they'll go smoothly into my binder okay so now that I've gotten those ready I'm just adding them to my binder here and showing how they smoothly go in there and then I have these little motivational cards that were part of the paper pad that I was using she believed she could so she did and then I'm just adding those in there and to keep me motivated when I am writing down my thoughts and if you like this give me a thumbs up it helps my channel and see you later crafty nista